Hi uh, everyone, this is Amic Gamer, and I'll be returning to Rogue Tech. So, a lot of things. <laughs> so, um, Yarnfolk Black Market um, ability hit us, which means that we got a 30 something, 40 something percent. Uh, Attack and defend debuff, making it so that I mean we could probably see it here. Yeah, thirty-one percent, seventeen more hours. Ugh, that's way too long. Oh well, not much we can do there. But a couple of things have well. There, there was also an insurrection. That was that's why I, I was here trying to put it down. But if you remember, we were operating here and now they're gone. We wiped out the Laren Commonwealth. We brute fit forced our way through. We have succeeded. Uh, Tharkad. Tharkad is at 175%. We'll probably work on that later. Right now, we do have this problem a Cercinus. I mean, like, like right now we're we're getting all of these insurrections, and meanwhile, Cercinus is being very opportunistic, taking systems from us. But right now, unfortunately for them, because we dealt with Steiner, we you have some opening to use. And and at this point, might as well go on the offensive. Let's create some havoc. <laughs> because before I did send a warning, I flipped their capital. They haven't learned. They still, maybe they're gluttony for punishment. I don't know. Like I've, I've tried to be reasonable, try to give them a chance. Right, trying to say, this is what we can do. Now, if you don't want it to happen to you, don't anger us, don't take our systems. But unfortunately, they're not learning. And as a result, I mean, part of the problem is I don't hit very hard right now. But you know what? <laughs> uh, Cercinus Federation. Venus 34. Yeah, let's go for this one. So, so previously missions that I could hit 41% now is quite a bit tougher and I forgot to salvage that centurion. I knew I forgot something. <laughs> oh, it, it just didn't register for whatever reason. So right now I'm gonna first defend this system. They, they took Song Hua from us earlier, and then we'll, we'll see. It'll be a push towards Sarcinus. I don't know how far I could push because I don't hit very hard right now. And depending on missions, it. Yeah. We'll see. Because before, things like assassination will be like 41%. I'll be lucky if I hit 30%. Like these penalties hurt. They're... They are quite a... They do matter. And... Yeah. Like the insurrection... The elimination of... Steiner. Most of our members are... I mean, they, they earned it. They, they have earned a break. That's normal. Reinforcement, support. Can we get some high ground? The answer might be no. I actually don't know where the evac point is. Um, actually, is it? No. 
Yeah, I don't know the map well enough. <laughs> hey, Libby, I'm here to convince you to restart, because you're a meme. How am I a meme? What do you mean, I'm a meme? When did I become a meme, Libby? Explain yourself. <laughs> I'm, I'm so confused. But hey, how are you doing? How are you doing? There's that group. I still don't know how I became a meme, honestly. <laughs> I'm like, most not meme. I'm so ordinary, I, I don't think I could become a meme. But hey, maybe you know something I don't. And it's really early for you, isn't it? I guess maybe you, you found the secret of how to get through the day without needing sleep. That might be the case. Yeah, that's annoying. Same way you became a nerd, I made it up. Okay. Thank you. I was like, what happened now? I'm like... I could definitely make do without any drama today. It's been a, been a crazy day. But hey, I'm glad you made it up. Doesn't seem like something I want. This year is Cicada year. <laughs> Cicada year, okay. I mean, it, it was finally like earlier today. I did a mission, and I'm like, see, God, this is terrible. <laughs> Good to go. Affirmative. Let's try to stay in cover. Let's do Here we go. Corsair. I mean, of course, it's a Corsair. It's a part. On the way. R. Firing all weapons. I mean, it's, it belongs to a part faction that can't be trusted, so. Roger. Now the question is, can we hit it with real guns? <laughs> can we hit it with real guns? Oh, we'll find, find out problem. now. Ooh, I dodged one. The way I got to keep them tight. Order. Double time. Go. Is it gonna dodge the second one? Probably. No. <laughs> no. It dodged one, but that's that's its limit. Oh, of course, it's that far away. It might be faster just going after the enemy, honestly. Charging through this terrain? Yeah, not fun. Where the hell is their supporting... I mean, one of their group is not present. I don't know which one. Barely hit. I need to hit them with real guns to find out. <laughs> They're probably... Yeah, they probably have the right weaponry too. Because those are cool. I'm not saying they're not cool. I'm just saying they, they, they have a, they have a longevity of two rounds. <laughs> when I use the, they do burr and then burr. No, I'm not saying they're not cool. I'm just saying that. When when I'm using them, they they have such low longevity. Now, if cicadas could carry a real gun, they they immediately like their coolness just increase massively. No, I mean real cicadas. Okay, the okay. <laughs> See, all the tanks we come up against are bigger and better than Yeah, do you clarify? <laughs> okay, that... Ah, oh, that's annoying. Well, my, my bot doesn't allow uh, 
think so. No worries. <laughs> okay, now I know what you mean by cicada. Nah, I thought you meant the mech cicada, the, the light one that just dies to anything. There's going to be a lot of cicadas. This year's Gen X cicadas. You're making this up, aren't you? You're gonna talk about, you know, how, how the millennial cicadas are gonna... <laughs> uh, yeah, you're gonna tell me that millennial cicadas are gonna be lazy and... <laughs> no, remaining. no, it's real news. Okay. Check the link. Well, you you have to whisper it to me because my my bot doesn't allow links. Sorry. See, that's the thing. Like, like you talk about so many topics. At this point, I'm like, I don't know what is real and what is false anymore. There's actually no other group. I'm so confused now. Maybe they didn't show up. They call it Gen X because big ones have 17 years. Yes, Wait, how is that Gen X? I must be really out of the loop. <laughs> and the, the other group must be really far away. Oh, that is terrifying. Might be faster. That's the plan, dude. We never taken seriously on. I mean, if that's your goal, you're succeeding. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing about internet, right? You you have all sorts of all sorts of things. Like, what can you believe? I don't know why scientists call it that, but yeah, I'm like, how is that X? But Sure. I mean, I'm not a scientist, so... What do I know? Oh, I had a voice assistant. That explains it. We're gonna slowly scoot towards that... Evacuation. Cicadas hatch every 17 years in... Universe. I mean, there are... They're not as dangerous as, say, Primitive. locusts, right? Because locust swarms are like really bad for everyone. Well, at least for the countries involved. I don't know how dangerous cicadas are to everyone. There's a couple every year, but for some reason, ever since years, there's this big. Okay. That doesn't do anything but make noise. Alright. Let's sleep for everyone. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, they're... I mean, they get confused with... Uh, they get confused with uh, crickets, right? Do they make similar noises? I actually don't know. She literally don't know. Yeah, I actually don't know where that other group is. Larvas sip on tree roots, all chill for 70 years. Yeah, they have uh, interesting lives for sure. <laughs> oh, I took out the. Look at that one as well. Huh. I'm actually surprised. Pleasantly surprised. Yeah, bugs and insects tend to not have a very long. Life. That's why they come in numbers. And that's why lo locusts are so terrifying, right? Yeah. Where is that other group? Oh, come on. 
Yeah, they sound similar and probably you, you just never notice a long cicada. Oof. Very exciting. I have no doubt. For... Like, what are you, a cicada enthusiast? Is that even... <laughs> is that even a right term? Locusts are African things more. Yes. Which is probably a good thing. Can you imagine if they actually threaten more of the world? That'd be terrifying. Because... Like, like, then... It does... That's one of the scary things about climate change, where if the environment changes to a certain degree, those locusts are going to start heading towards. I think they're stuck up there. Oh my god, they're stuck all the way over there. Like, if the climate keeps changing, eventually the locusts are going to move northwards into Europe. Or India, whatever, and then we'll be like, we can't stop them. <laughs> they just suddenly mutate to locusts and eat everything. Wow, that that has crazy accuracy. Oh, this is gonna be a slow mission. But yeah, no, I don't, I don't know enough about locusts, but. But I do know that if if the environment continues to change, it's very possible they'll move out of uh, Africa. And then we'll be in trouble because we are going to have a food shortage supply. That is no fun for any of us. I have me get stuck on the map because I'm like, oh, you can't go this way. <laughs> I think the the reinforcements are a little used. Well, our armies are dancing so fast that everyone's knocking themselves out to be hero. Ender? I mean, maybe that's part of the reason why Africa is poor because they they do have these kind of the seasons when. Food shortages doesn't help. Grasshopper is a calm dude who does gnaw on grass, but then something triggers them. Yeah. Locusts are crazy. They are. They are the definition of. The end is near. I can't even counter it. <laughs> it isn't directly linked to global warming either. It just happens more. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not saying it's, it's tied to global warming. I'm just saying that, you know, for instance, if, if Africa gets hotter, right? If Africa gets hotter and there's less food, those locusts are going to... Look, search for more food because they're not their appetite is not going to be fulfilled, and that means they're going to move to other continents, right, in search of food. Yes, Commander. I'm not saying it's tied to global warming, but global warming could cause a situation where they will start appearing in locations that they previously don't arrive at. Because, for instance, maybe you know, Europe become warm enough that. This becomes a location that they happily head to. Apparently, what really caused locust swarm was farming in Africa. Really? That is weird. Oh my god, I can start hitting them. Yes, poke your head out. <laughs> to get shot. <laughs> They could also all just increase heat insects or something. You, you hope so, but yeah. I feel like 
there's definitely a lot of things we don't know enough on how to like better combat against a lot of these creatures. We want to think that we're ready, but we're not. All right, I guess we're going in. The problem before is I, I had no idea what they were. Yeah, we have a lot of problems. <laughs> uh, yeah, go for the marshal. Marshall. To be fair, us as human beings, our the temperature range we can handle is like it's okay. It's it's not crazy. Hmm. You hit that no. I'm not gonna waste time on that. Oh, the marshal didn't even get a turn. Farmer made food more available to locusts. They didn't have that much to eat. When they did, locust mode and swarms die off. I mean, let's face it, it's a terrible problem to face. Yes, be more in the open. Thank you. For 1.6 million dollars, we could become heroes for three days. Wow, they are unlucky. Could probably use some armor. Because that was a 57. It wasn't even a 58 percent. Yes. Okay, that's my. <laughs> if that hits, I'm like, yeah, they they are. They are really unlucky. You don't have enough range. Yeah, there's there's just so much about the natural world that we just don't know anything about. And we keep thinking that we're like, you know, top of the food chain, we're like, Mr. Or Mrs. Tough Guy, yeah, no. What's he gotta do? Or to not to see him? Um, I've... I think I've seen them when I travel to like warmer countries. But yeah, no, here, here we generally don't hear about them. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 you have cicadas where you live? Aren't you pretty north as well? So... Ready. How, how is it normal for you to see them? I'm really confused. <laughs> I'm like, huh? Like, um, I'm suspecting they don't exactly show up in your backyard. I mean, it's going to mean, mean yes. Okay. Yeah, they're gonna have less sleep. We don't get cicadas here, no. I was in US during last. Oh, okay. Oh, come on. Coward. Coward. This marshal just refuses to nice. keel over. Good. Oh, let's first deal with it. Copy that. One at a time. Armor it is. Panic level critical. I prefer you start dealing with that grace. Nice. Really dangerous right now. Given our not so great firepower. <laughs> Drinking wine and eating cheese. Oh, you could hit it. Or potentially hit it. 
that this mission shouldn't be taking this long, honestly. Got really unlucky with. Responding response. Map actually might just be the map's fault. Wait, how did you find the US when you went? Was everything expected? Was it disappointing at times? That error with some mines to speed up slightly. Ever so slightly. I mean, it was... Oh, that was a long time ago. <laughs> that was definitely a long time ago. 3 9 11, damn. I, I don't know what to say other than... Wow. That was like 20... Well, not quite 20 years, but... Like 19 and a half. Um, yeah, let's try it. I don't know where that other one went. I mean, you, you did say the Cicada thing happens every 17 years, so I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. Rip. Did remove the mines. Everything was big, cars were fast, President was Mr. President, every head on everything. Yeah, 9 11 really changed things up. Like, really changed things up. Unfortunately. The, the country sort of changed. And maybe people will argue, you know, change for the better, change for the worse, who knows. I hate these missions. Or at least I hate these maps. Rear. You're the thumper. I mean, it was already happening then. Like you, a hero is some it has only gotten worse, I know. <laughs> some yeah, it's... It, that, that tends to be what happens, right? Things start to get a bit worse. And... And that's the thing, like, at the time, you might not notice it. But usually these kind of issues, if you start looking back, you'll be like, Oh shoot, how did I miss all of that? They just weren't insane about it. I guess they didn't make a big deal. I mean, people's opinions change. A lot over time. Cross uh, this five. Thumper, thumper isn't worth much. These guys, did this guy have like no heat sinks or whatever? Uh, I guess I'm gonna just sell that. Definitely a crazy world we live in. Hey, it's it, it's only crazy because we human <laughs> made it crazy. Gun control, immigration were kind of the talking points even then. Yeah, it's uh, it's complicated. Like. I'm from Canada. I do think a lot of their issues had to guns. Gun control is probably not their, f shouldn't be their first thing to do. There are other bigger issues, <laughs> but you know, 
And you know, mass shooting since that's always been an American pastime. Yeah, no, it's... Those have been happening forever. <laughs> Like, it's not even that crazy anymore. They keep arguing, I don't know how hard it's argue something that says no. I mean, it's politics, right? It's the ugly side of politics. You have one part, you know, you have parties trying to appease to their base. And if their base want to hear gun control, they will yell it. They will be... It's, it's the ugly side of politics, honestly. They will not be infringed, that's what the paper says. You, you act like those politicians care. <laughs> they, they don't. They will do whatever they feel like. That's that. Um, capture base, but I don't think. Yeah, that's not. That's against the wrong pirates. Recovery. Um. Do I want? Why not? Yeah, I don't know where it's going, but doesn't look it's gonna end friendly. I mean, let's put it this way. If history has... Oh, it's an escort. Okay, escorts are worth more. Yeah, let's, let's put it one way. History has shown that it doesn't matter how powerful how great a country, an empire, a nation could be. They will always reach a peak, and then they will decline, and then they will end spectacularly. We, we've seen it with the French Revolution. We've seen it with the collapse of... What do they even call it? The, the Russian Empire and started a Soviet and then we saw the right the rise of Soviets and the collapse of Soviet it's, it's just history repeating itself and the crazy thing is there are lots of people who claim or you know lots of these people who think that they will do things differently. They will end up differently. Well, yeah, Cardi B is pretty much right off the it. Well, I mean, that's... Uh, I mean, I have no comment. <laughs> I don't follow those things. I try not to. I'm like, uh, I have enough time for those. Locking force. Like... That's the main thing. History has shown that over and over, that's what we would encounter in life. And then we constantly have people who believe that because they're in power, things will end differently. And I'm like, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but right, far, far too many people think that they're different. They're they're gonna be the next Genghis Khan or Genghis Khan, I just don't know what's the proper pronunciation. I neither, but she keeps popping up since, you know. I mean wasn't Kanye West trying to run wasn't thinking of running as president? I, I don't even know. <laughs> I mean Uh they're and if you can imagine, I am into politics. Are you into politics or are you just kind of 
Are you kidding? What is this? They have a freaking cattle master. <laughs> I'm actually insulted. Uh, Croc is 16. I have a goblin. There's n not enough crazy in the gene pool. For us to get... Oh no, we, we do. Because let's face, face it. Genghis Khan was very unlikely. And yet somehow he existed, right? He he overcame so many odds. So it's not impossible, it's just a matter of whether or not the stars will line up for one to come up and then murder like millions of people. But awaiting orders. Yeah. That's the world we live in. Go. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Cattle master. I still can't believe they brought a cattle master. Copy that. Yes, Commander. It's a, it's a very interesting choice. He saw what he wanted and took it. Yeah. And and a lot of people want to think that they could do that, but they don't quite have the charisma or you know just the. Right things. I mean, to be fair, right? Like, I'm gonna say Genghis because I think that's how you pronounce it. Like, what's what's crazy about him is that he he grew. I don't know how well you know about his story, about his childhood, but he grew up getting kicked out and having to survive in the steps which is something most of us cannot possibly even hope to accomplish he overcame the odds I'm receiving you. and he he's he's the definition of what doesn't kill him makes him stronger that's special kind of crazy we don't see anymore because people are civilized from birth are you sure because, because I think nowadays we have a different sort of, you know, crazy. Waiting on you, Commander. And I am talking about war zones, right? We have countries that have been destabilized, and you know, kids who. For for example, for for Syria, they they have been at war for like ten years. Think about it. There are ten year olds who don't know what a world is that doesn't have war. You think those kids are gonna be raised up? Well, and gonna be, you know, not be crazy in some way. Yeah, we live in a crazy world. <laughs> it's a. Uh... We'll see. And they introduced him to his fancy skill called Horsey Archer that was basically 300 years ahead of anyone else. And that was just, that. right? Who knows what kind of things are are happening right now in terms of technology, right? For all we know, there might be someone who's coming up with these terrifying technology, and we are going to feel it, right? Like no one's going to be able to stop them. Because currently, countries have these have these secret arm races where they are trying to create the strongest weapon at all cost. And that's pure chance. The world is too small for leaps in technology. Are you sure? 
like there's probably a ton of technology that we know nothing about We like to think that there isn't a huge leap, but I mean, just just look at the Industrial Revolution. Like how big of a leap we went from relying entirely on human, right, human labor for things, to suddenly having machine that mass produce and instantly cause like cottages, lots of craftsmen guilds out of a job. Just because they cannot compete. It doesn't take much. Right? And and the scary thing is where China may be making super soldiers, but tech they use is a new inventive. But what if they have a massive advantage over other countries? Right? Who knows how they're gonna shape the geopolitical landscape? Think about by CRSPs have for pittance these days. Question is, can I shoot that things up here? It's gonna be really risky. Wait. All right, let's do it. The position. Let let's have a little fun. The crazy part is we still pretend we need workers to work full time. Oh no. Like so many of our jobs are just redundant. Like literally redundant. Oh you can't get down from there huh. And hovercraft still have these weird pathing. You can automate a hell of a lot of things and make work to be optional. Yeah but. We we'll have people who have. We we'll have people who don't know what they're gonna do with their lives. Not all people create problems. <laughs> Just saying. What the heck? Where is the? Oh, not that. Oh, they are not there. Okay. I'm here. Oh. Psh. Also, do an air wing start for memes. Oh, uh. Do the. Lamb? Isn't Vito Lance one possible start? There is. I think. I don't know which one it is, though. Oof, that, that was rough. I mean, Vito's have been ner nerfed enough that I'm like. Ugh, I don't know. Archangel and King Crab. All right, that will help. I would have preferred to take out a larger chunk out of that, but I mean, I'm sure there is a start for that. I just don't know which one it is. On my way. Oh, you got rough housed. I don't know, next time I play, I'm probably going to turn Vito off entirely. Wait, you can? The mech game. I mean, if you could do it. Go ahead. <laughs> I just don't know if you could. I didn't even know there was that option, honestly. Wait, 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 so tanks are okay? There's a lot of sli sliders. Are there? I, I never really went through everything, so I explain a lot. Probably even more now. No short range missiles remaining. On my way. Might Alice be actually helpful to some? Everyone's knocking themselves out to be heroes. 
Uh, do you want to try to get rid of you? Oh, that miss sucks. Things are like 10% if I'm moving sliders. Oh, as long as you know what you're... Wait, that means you have more... Max. Huh. I mean, maybe they'll nerf vehicles and stuff. Who knows? Cause hey, mech game. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, air support, tanks, it it does make sense that they play a pretty big role. But what do I do? And plus, you play what you want. Uh, I don't, oh sh Yeah, clan would be insane to face without Vitos and tanks. Tell me what to do. I mean, you're a better player, so I believe in you. I believe in you. Damage critical. Trying to hit the mauler. Sure, they exist, but full lances of Vito or Max just smells bad, man. Or Max? What? I mean, to be fair, I... I, I probably made it worse. <laughs> By having that full vehicle lance. To be fair. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not my fault the game made it viable. Thanks. I know, I was like, okay, so so you don't want a full mech lens. Got it. Firing on target. Mega Godzilla needs to go down. You are like way off, but that doesn't mean you have a better survivability. But hey, you're you're free to choose whatever. Got rid of that. Perfect. I actually like this high ground. <laughs> I'm probably gonna stay up here. And I missed this one. Thank you. There's no challenge to 45 ton. Still up. No, it ain't. no, there is. Because Vito's have been nerfed. How beautiful it is out here. Like they die so easily. I'm not even kidding. They, they just die. Special delivery. What can I do for you? They. Uh huh. Like since they fixed the bug. Uh, Vito's have been uh, in a really bad state. They're just evasive and have zero armor and too many guns. Most of it's one time use though. Most of it's one time use, so. so we're not talking about sustain, like this is stupidly broken. They are literal. Definition of glass cannon. I'm fine with bow choppers like the AWOC being a thing, but Nidhogg. Good to go. I mean, I can see why. But since they're already in the game and people more or less incorporate them into their lands, I don't think they're going anywhere. Neon lasers and two SRMs are fine. Stack of 400 rockets on Vito is not interesting. I mean, given the crazy things you have to face in this game, sometimes you might need 400 rockets. Just say. All 
But yeah, it it is largely a preference, right? I mean, that's why game options. Yep. So, though I will admit, like, after this game, if you have me play without uh, Vitos or fewer vehicles, it will feel so weird. I mean, play better, don't rely on rockets. Don't rely on ra rockets? What is this? Rockets are fun. I don't know you anymore. I can accept everything else, but you say use fewer rockets. That's like unacceptable. Get out. <laughs> no, just kidding. But seriously, that's rockets? Come on. Or build a periphery mech if you love rockets. I mean, I like real guns, so. But but there is some I will admit there is something satisfying about just using rockets and seeing your enemies just blown to smithereens. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Hey, that that might just be me. Rocket truck was fun. Yeah, the space Toyota. It it definitely outperformed so much. Why don't you dig how beautiful it is out here? I hear ya. It's an overachiever. It was definitely the MVP. And then hogs are just so on. I hear ya. I mean, since the nerf, uh, Vito's don't feel that strong anymore, so. I don't know if you got a chance to play the nerfed Vito. But hey, you you go build your all mech lens. I'd rather face mechs that are built funny than stupid flyers full of one shots. I can understand why. Don't need to tell me twice. That's not that it's terrifying. But you have to deal with. With flyers because the AI is not smart enough to like allocate things they will just throw everything at you they better hope they don't target you okay you can go Sometimes selecting them is a massive pain. I hear ya. Now where are Hold this position, Commander. Package will be on its way. I still don't see the enemy intercepting forces. Are they? Oh, right on top, really? Good to go. Ah, that's just rude. Go more negative waves. That is just rude. Affirmative. So whether or not I will f succeed or fail will depend entirely on. Whose initiative goes first? To I mean, I have to build my mechs to have endurance, and AI can just checkmate with one shot scans, and that's not nice. Nor, uh, yes, I I could see what you're saying there. I'm, I mean, maybe I have too much love for <laughs> vehicles. Oh look, another one of those stupid suicide is... <laughs> yeah. Oh no. You gotta go first. 
Oh look. <laughs> Speaking of suicide. Oh no, it's gonna one shot all of them, isn't it? <laughs> but when the Zeus pops the ridge with four large clan lasers, it feels like a fight. I just need to kill one of them. Render one of them incapable. Fulcrum. Problem is... Yeah, this is stupid. Like, how am I supposed to stop this? <laughs> I could fail this mission. Unless I kill the Fafner. That will help. Honestly, Zeus isn't that dangerous. <laughs> it's it's one of the least dangerous things you could face. Oh, well, you are supposed to turn off Vito's. The no, I'm not talking about the Vito. I'm I'm talking about their dropping location. The question is, how much damage can that fulcrum do? I just need one of them to survive. This isn't dangerous until it has four hyper laser with stacks of BCs. Okay, true. But it also depends on what you're using. And hyper laser seems to break very easily. Damage or just destroyed. But yeah, you, you're right. That's a lot of firepower in a short amount of time. Zah. Have a little faith. Okay, I I will succeed this mission. <laughs> Thankfully. Thankfully, I've only encountered. Zeus with like two, so I guess I got lucky. Run through the minefield, buddy. Looks like we're gonna find ourselves. I mean, it's what six ton per laser. Maybe on, I don't keep track of these things. It's still up. I don't even use. <laughs> okay, you will survive unless my allies decide to do something stupid. Which is extremely possible. Really, I don't have. Oh, you're just out of range, aren't you, sneaky? Let's use Thunder Ray. But, like, you can carry spare hypers in the hall when or if jams or crits. Not like you can sink for hypers. The, the AI isn't that smart. The AI will fire everything it has. By. Just like the... I think it's called the Dire Wolf. Copy that. You know, the, the one that oh has like 12 PBCs or so. It fires everything. I can't take much more of this. It's, it's not the smartest thing, but it will just... It will most likely cripple or kill whatever it hits. Yeah, but player is dirt. <laughs> I mean, we can as if the AI plays as well as humans, these missions will be so much tougher. It'd be terrifying. Dire Star, yeah. Those nasty piece of work. If I see them, I'm like, please, please. Hit my veto. <laughs> that was made to purpose and was used smartly when it was created. And there's no point. 
mines are probably going to do more reliable damage. Let's put more mines. I almost failed that. <laughs> Ain't nobody turning a corner with 12. Goodbye. I mean, one on one is, is not afraid of anything unless it just misses everything. But I guess it is possible. You have a very stealthy unit that just. that it just cannot hit. It would be very entertaining, I will admit. Let's watch every single one, one of those miss. And you can just pew with two and sink it to be effective. And that's a human thought process. Alright, trying to train the AI so it knows how to do that, that would be nuts. That would actually make the Dire Star one of the... But if it knows how to do that, I mean, why would we have 12 then? If you're just gonna fire 2, it's not like PPCs will get damaged or anything. Right? I mean, rational build will be like 6 year PPC and stack of BCs for them. Yeah. And, and if you can sink the heat, congratulations, you, you have a killing machine. Sink 4, keep 2 for assaults, yeah. Hey, nobody says logical. Like, like there are quite a few mechs. Not just the Dire Star. I can't remember the other ones. But normally, if they unload everything, they tend to be just overheated. Like, like they're gone. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Like, they're overheated, they might as well be dead, because they are not going to turn back on any, in a reasonable amount of time. <laughs> the point of Dire Star was to scare people into PvP, and it did that. Wait, do you encounter those in PvP? Like... Like in, in Rogue Tech Duels, is there a chance to encounter one of them or not really? Where's. Ah, there's only two parts, if we. Now, one thing that these things are good at is that money. They're worth a lot of money. Um. I think Clan XXL will have to win. Hmm. You can set them to sequential fire and pretend there was an entire assault lance behind the corner. Oh, now we're talking about role playing. Okay. I was like, pretend? Pretend what? <laughs> It worked while it worked. I mean, that's why you have sensors, right? So you know what you're facing. I mean, thankfully it doesn't take much, right? Because in this game, if you see something that has like 12 energy weapons, looks like an assault. You're like, I think I know what that is. Why well, wasn't role playing? It worked in MWO. What's MWO again? You have to explain these because I'm like, I really don't know. Oh, there's announcements. Uh, general change, increased trigger cost. Trigger less. Off to some underperforming abilities. Nerf change. Yarn folk assassins.
Abilities that reward loot will prioritize active. Okay. Interesting. Mech Warrior Online. Okay. Isn't that the one where you play first person? Or am I getting confused? Okay, that did not much. <laughs> you parked his dire star on a capture point and held it with pure fear of being alpha. I I could definitely see why. <laughs> Ambush convoy. I should have some better missions. It was a trash. Ah, shoot. Oh, see slow. I should definitely clean out my storage. Wait, is is there a chance to miss those? Like, like, can you have a bad enough player who misses all of those? I'm just curious. A oh, long boy is not ready yet. Okay, makes sense. Holy. Oh, really? Wow, that's worth a lot. That's why I like vehicles. Because you can make a lot of money out of them. Big money. Beatles especially. Of course, it stopped working when people figured out it had no armor, but for a while there, he just sweeped opposition since they read Assault and didn't try to fight it one-on-one. -on -one. So, so it's all alternative, just fire missiles. Use indirect fire, and since it doesn't have armor, you're gonna eventually wear it out. How oh, you scrap an archangel? I don't need it. <laughs> I'm not gonna build it. <laughs> my my lance is like yeah. We learned. Uh... But then take over the facility. I can't tell if this is capture or this local pirate. I'm not doing target acquisition. Are you kidding? You gave me two tar target acquisitions. All right, let's see what this one is. This is why you need to restart and earn. <laughs> I have bigger priorities right now. <laughs> Building an Archangel is not one of them, I assure you. Okay, this capture base. It's okay, things will probably change. I mean, who knows what's gonna happen? Just fight and kill team. Just fight the kill team. No, I need to capture a bunch of systems. <laughs> Our priorities is, is different. I actually have objectives I want to capture or try to capture. <laughs> There's, yeah, no, it's uh, it's it's very different from the offline days where it's like, let's just do crazy things, and they probably worked. S systems. I mean, that's the reason why I play online. <laughs> If I want to collect everything, I'll play offline. I'll play it with the easiest difficulty, so I never run out of money. And I can just do whatever and just, you know, play Pokemon. <laughs> collect all the mechs. Uh, location. Oh, this map. Okay. Mid assault. Okay, that's good. That means they should be closer to that location. That a rock? I 
I probably shouldn't put the longbow at the front. Harder sitting settings, limit yourself, or do the headhunter challenge Gubaji came up with. I don't even know who Gubaji is. <laughs> and by me assault, it means they're already inside. <laughs> <laughs> we have very different uh, definition of mid assaults, but sure. Life is easier. I'll take it. No, I, I mean I won't. I won't have harder settings. I do need to experiment. I'm not sure how they will look though. It was a. What do you mean by was? And I moved to YouTube, I guess. Okay. I mean, I'm so new, I probably don't know most of these people. Which I'm not surprised! Yeah, wait, I need to see what's... Oh wait, no, I can't even hit that. That's an arrow, got it. He's really slow with content. You're, you're talking as if I'm really quick. <laughs> I just play a bit every day. Yes. One left well, our armies are dancing so Not exactly fast either. We are holding ourselves in reserve. Have a little faith, baby. Three sixty. Anyway, was it f 50 missions total and hard limit on what skull he could? Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, no, I'm not gonna do those. I'm not here to suffer, thank you very much. I'm just here to have some fun. I'm, I'm not hardcore enough, okay? You should know that by now. You should know that I'm I'm the nerd who is just bad at games, period. Like six one skull, eight two skulls, twelve three skulls, etc. Suffering the the point of streamer, the well, not the streamer. <laughs> I probably should have warned you when you first watched me, but hey, it's never too late to find out. Those are going nowhere. Oh my god, you can't just hit that? Well, potentially hit it. I'm impressed. Oh, I know. Yeah, no, I'm not the... I'm not the type that's like, I'm gonna suffer for your sake. I'm the type who's like, I'm gonna have fun. If you don't enjoy it, I'm sorry, but... My stream, my rules. <laughs> yeah, pretty bad. Oh, I should have put mines down. Yeah. I will probably vanish. I'm trying to convince you there's a world full of sharp glass and you having no shoes that feel good when you win. I'm drinking wine and eating cheese and catching I mean, there are definitely things I'm like, eh, I don't know if I should listen to Libby. I mean, weren't you the one who talked me into doing that target acquisition where I had to eliminate that stone rhino from the rear <laughs> with the storm crow? Yeah, no, I. <laughs> I mean, that that went well, but that could have went horribly wrong. So I'm like, I don't know. I'm walking here. Acknowledged. You enjoyed it. Yes. I can't believe I was dumb enough to be like, yeah, why not? Let's try it. Yeah, no. That's that's the most you get, Libby. <laughs> that's the most you get out of me. Seriously. Waiting on you, Commander. Hide behind this rock. Why not? Go more negative waves. 
It's a video game. Do you think happens? There's a difference between losing and just doing stupid thing and be like, why did I do that? It's like, why did I listen to Libby of all people? Must be nuts. Oh yeah. <laughs> just restart. See, so that's that's one thing I don't like. Restart, especially when I'm like that game was. Pretty far in. I had a 16.4 repair bill once. Okay, now you're just showing off. Got it. Now you're just like, look at this. Going. Right now you're showing off your scars. You're like, I got this while fighting a Onward. bear and this and that. Like, okay. Yeah, that's a like, like. Did you have Clan Double XL engine and a bunch of things? Oh, Fujin is a uh, Fujin is gonna be a little scary. Primitive. Only a little. Just speaking of which, uh. Got yeah, five more minutes. Nah, man. Five score assassinate, and it was a flat map. They had two real guns and three super heavies. Oh. Okay. Straight back to one score to get bits. Oh wait. So you are playing uh, planet difficulty. Otherwise, I, like, otherwise you wouldn't have the repair bill. <laughs> yeah, that's nuts. For my next playthrough, I will probably have super heavies enabled, so I might have that and be like, damn. See, in in those cases, it's a question of. Can I fire my railgun and hit them before they do? I'll probably lose a lot. <laughs> and super heavies weren't the ones with the railguns. I'm, I'm not surprised. Of course they're not. It would be too convenient. I mean, I think there are super heavies that have a uh, few rail guns, right? Fire everything and see what happens. I mean, it's gonna get murdered. Isn't it kind of irrelevant on what skull you play on online map? Um. It is no, it, it is relevant, and that On my way. the skull determines how much of an influence you can have on a system. So if you only play low skull, you're not gonna flip planets very easily. So so while you're right, yeah, no. Like if you're doing one score, you might change that number by 1%. If you're doing whatever I'm on, I, I don't know. Uh, you would be on like 41%. So low bees are screwed. So low bees are expected to get better and be able to fight others on equal grounds. But they're not screwed, they just have to get better. It's it's a classic get good newbie.
Wait, I thought you played all my maps. I'm so confused. See, all the tanks we come up against are bigger and better than ours. So that all we can hope to do is like... Oh wait, okay, good. I... I refrain myself in case... Watch, it's gonna miss. 99.1%. <laughs> Actually, it's probably gonna just take off an arm. Probably. Oh, have a big ass lance doesn't make you good at the game. Oh, I never said I was good at the game. I'm, I'm probably mediocre. <laughs> I never once claimed I was good at the game. You just tend to have too much metal to lose anything at all, ever. You know, if if something happens, uh, rebuilding will be. Kind of tough for me, but you know, that's just life. I mean, that that's why I have some backup stuff in case I do lose things. I have a backup Orion. I have a Salamander if I lose my longbow, which is probably the most likely thing to die because it doesn't have enough Chance, armor. Was that enough? Yes. Not a lot though. Nine. Yeah. Having four assault main lands is pretty much mortality cheat on rogue tech if you have super heavies disabled. Probably. I mean things could still go wrong. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I'm not even hitting that hard, all things considered. Like, to put things into perspective, there are hard-hitting players who could do most missions in 5 minutes. I'm not even kidding. They said they could do it in 5 minutes, and because there's a 20-minute cooldown, they wait the remaining Remaining like 10, 15 minutes. Like I don't even have the craziest bills. Like like there are people who are just, you know, they five, six, seven minutes. They wait, and then they finish the mission once the twenty minute second uh, cooldown is off. They have crazier gear than me. Like uh, I'm not even that farmed out. They have society. Here they have, like, they're decked out. They're they're optimized. I'm probably never gonna be good. If you have a cultivated sense, salt lands with insane kit, losing a soul rare. You have too much money stock to actually lose anything. Eh? I mean, in a way, kind of. I mean, I I'm trying to get to a hundred, a five hundred million D bills. We'll see how well that goes. That sucks that way. And currently we also have this 33% attack penalty, which is a pain. Local pirates. And also I need to note this down. Uh. Okay, got it. But well, see, the, the whole point here is not a question of... Oh, that's a duel. Yeah, not being able to hit full strength is uh, really annoying to deal with. Maybe I'll just flip these for now. Make them work for it, and then once I hit full strength, I'm gonna just swarm them. You have 300 mil. You could just go on a spending spree and buy random mechs as spares and outfit it with spares you have lying around in case you do lose anything. But I don't want to. <laughs> I I do want to have a bank be, because there is a chance for me to get through it. Actually, not through all of it, but I would rather not eventually have to 
scrounge around. Because Valkyrie is huge right now. Traveling from one end to the other and sometimes trying to find missions does uh, require a lot of resources. I'll probably flip this, go back, go back to Tharkad, strengthen that, and yeah, but that's my point. No risk, no fun. I mean, I have war, so I'm not too worried. Ambush convoy. Recovery. Like, like, yes, most of the battle are pretty straightforward, but that's the whole point. Like, like my goal is to flip systems as quickly as possible in order to gain a strategic advantage over the enemy on the map. Like, offline, yeah, I, I totally want to have you know, challenges because they get boring fast, but the map changes here, so gotta do what must be done. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I should like that. Oh shoot, I should be rebooting. Real prank of 2021 is going to be that there was no online map after all. You just want to ruin my fun, don't you? <laughs> You're like the wet blanket. <laughs> You're just ruining other people's fun. Let me have fun for once. Come on. Ah, <laughs> uh, Libby. Well, let's see how serious this enemy lance is. Okay, they're like somewhere here. Just need some high ground. Pew pew pew, and then pack up our bags and go home. Nice and easy. Wait, are they over here? Yeah, I can't drop. Huh. Fun is Verbaton. You get cancelled for laughing. I knew it. We are world. Teen Vogue is apparently a communist propaganda machine now too. Wait, team or teen? And if you say so, I don't I don't know. <laughs> I mean it used to be about makeup and stuff. Things change. We we do live in a pretty crazy world, so yeah. Teen Vog. Like, I have no idea what that is. And, and when you say about makeup, I'm like, I know even less about it. I'm pretty sure it's obvious that I'm, I'm not a makeup person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and you think I would know that magazine. <laughs> I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't know much, okay? There are certain things I'm like, unless I have to, I'm like, I, I probably won't touch it. I've got eyes on hostile reads. Okay. That is my ally, so it's getting pummeled. 
You've probably seen girls within school and went, this is not relevant to my interest. I mean, if, if I see a girl with too much makeup, I'll be like, yeah, I'll, I'll stay away. I'll be like, this, this person have insecurities. I should stay away before I get hurt. The same. I mean, to be fair, right? <laughs> it's it's not like I see someone with makeup and then be like, okay, that's Vogue. Okay, that's that brand. That would be nuts. I've probably never seen a girl without makeup unless you're married. I mean, there's there's a difference between too much. Like Like, some people just overdo it. They're like, what the hell are you trying to do? Like, like if they put a tiny bit more, you would think they're a clown. <laughs> I, I, I'm serious. There are some people who just overdo it. Yeah, this penalty is too annoying. That's why T-Vog is a thing. Oh, to show people how to overdo it. You miss muzzle those? That was sad. No chance, man. No, they both had it. One of them's in the river and the other one's on the other side, bro. Make up tips are life and death problems. For females, or for us guys, we're like, eh. life goes on. <laughs> yeah, we guys are pretty lax regarding what we. I'm out of SRN. I mean, honestly, a lot of us probably, you know, if we just wash up, put on a clean t shirt, weather permitted. I don't know where that shot went. Always with the yeah. Sorry, I'm just looking from this as from a guy's perspective. And, and we honestly, thankfully, worry a, a lot less things. I'm not saying we're right or wrong, it's just we have different priorities. I didn't wear makeup until I turned. Like, turn. Do that. Did that felt necessary after a while, or was it just like, well, everybody else does it? No, because I do know, like, schools, you tend to have peer pressure and stuff, so Firm. it's uh, messy. But it's hard to not. Makeup when you go outside after you see a difference. Probably. I mean, that's the whole point, right? Like, yes, no matter what people say, we we all do care about our appearance to various degrees, right? You probably heard people say, "Oh, appearances and everything." Well, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I was a broken kid. Good to go. Like, wait, broke or broken? There's a difference. <laughs> Tell me what to do. Because, because I assume you're you're saying you are broke, so you can't wear makeup until. <laughs> I have my flight or fight turned on permanently. Okay. Continue. Got it. You're dealing with your inner demons. Oh, 
I would have hoped if I hit that Ifri, but uh Makeup didn't really enter my world until I grew up from that. Yeah, the environment we grow on really matters, right? Because, for example, maybe you're rebellious, so you're like, Oh, people do this? Screw that. I'm gonna be different. I'm gonna stand out. You got decapitated. Go more negative waves. Have a little faith, baby. Have a little. Faith. Oh, okay. So six minutes. Good to go. Let's keep hitting them in the back with the rockets because why not? But yeah, if if you are being offered upwards of like five thousand products in one store, you kind of want a magazine. Okay, that true. <laughs> Wait your command. I would not understand it. No, I had to work really hard to convince me to. I mean, to be fair, m most guys don't have the patience to browse through or or do research of like over five hundred uh products. Guys don't have that kind of patience, I'm afraid. Really? Oh come on, of course I can't hit it. Ready for yeah, every see that's the thing, right? We want choices, but once we have too many choices, we're like I don't know what to do yes, in my life anymore. So confusing. Firing at enemies. But now they are instead telling me, good guy, I have quotes from people. I mean, I, I will admit it. It is nuts how a lot of conversations somehow shifts into politics. <laughs> it's like, why? It's like, it's like you can start talking about, I don't know, food, and then they start talking about politics. You're like, what? And of, co and of course, there's, there's all sorts of people in different spectrums, right? I'm your spaniel. No shooting, just like this brain is terrible. Getting anything done. Yeah, thankfully, as a guy, I don't need to worry about makeup. I don't have to worry about, you know, what's popular, what's considered good, their price range, which brand. I have enough things to worry about in life. <laughs> to worry about things like makeup. Think about how long this mission will take. Taking damn forever so I mean not much I can do I don't have the beefiest system so actually this does mean I need to reboot after this just hope it doesn't crash I love how this one is like gotcha. He just keeps running with his back face towards us I'd be happy just living under my bed and building castles out of dust bunnies and pet a cat he Just don't stop shoving things to my face Okay Yeah, no one of the bigger problems is when they Trying to shove things it's like come on You're free to believe what you want, but don't shove it in in other people's faces, like like one of those things is a uh, religion. I've encountered people who's like trying to convert and be like, 
oh, if you don't believe in this, this is where you're gonna go, and I'm like, just go to hell. Waiting on you, Commander. I don't have time for this. You're not gonna like this. And that, yes, they are terrible people for having alternative political views. Like, people are free to believe what they want, but just don't Ready for order. think that the rest of us want to hear about Double it. Time. Let's go. Don't. Just don't care. Gotcha. That this is going to be a long battle. I'm here. Brain is proving to be Move. a bit of a nightmare to work with. It's okay, I'm going to... Like... I have no problem with people being religious. As long as you're not trying to say, Hey, you, you better believe this or you're gonna go to hell. <laughs> Acknowledge. Like, I have no issue at all. You being religious. I'm not anti-religious. I'm just anti crazy religious people who believes that everyone else should follow the same faith as them. Live a good Christian life and then honor the ancestor God when you die. Hey, you do you. <laughs> Just, just don't tell me I'm gonna. I mean, I mean honestly, with the, you know, like you're going to hell, and I'm like, um, you know, based on your criteria, there will be so many people that go to hell that it wouldn't even be that bad of a place. <laughs> yeah. Mission successful. Like. Like, I also don't mind if, you know, religious people are trying to share certain teachings as long as they're not like, you, you better believe this, otherwise you're not going to go to heaven, you're going to go to hell. Once Armageddon happens, you're going to regret it, and I'm like, where's the, where's the earphones? I, I, I would rather hear some someone... Actually, I probably don't. <laughs> I, I, I was going to say, I would rather hear fingernails on the chalkboard, but then I'm like, uh, maybe they're about equally painful. Even jihadists have good life lessons. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. Like, I feel like a lot of the religions, right? They have really good things you can learn from them. It's the the problem is those who take it to the extreme. Where they're like, you have to believe this, otherwise yada yada yada. It's like I'm like a lot of these people don't even believe what they're saying. <laughs> what they're telling you to believe. They're just yapping away. Take the nades. I'm not gonna have a nade, Mac. I mean, I mean, I might have a nade, Mac, for like next time. Hey, memory. I had a all right day. It, it was a long day, but you know, it went well. I hope your day is starting out well, memory. I hope you had your coffee. You have enough caffeine to help you last rest of your work day. He isn't unbothering him. <laughs> well, what memory is had, so. <laughs> what the hell is happening? Marion is taking territory from Lothian. I don't even know what's going on here. But yeah, you're, you're you're not bothering me that much. Don't worry. Five. I saw him barely flipped, but once I'm hitting at full strength, they better be ready. 
because they are going to Man, you're not really bothering me, Libby. I, I can handle more than that. Man, this map is getting. It, it is pretty messy. Like, I, I do want nicer maps, but due to certain agreements. But there will be some cleaning up. It's not tonight. Who's the big houses this time around? Um. You mean like inner sphere houses? Like we we completely wiped out the Laren Commonwealth. We we even leased systems from Barak all the way here so that we could uh, eliminate the Laren Commonwealth for good. Yeah, no, t today we actually eliminated them, so that felt pretty good. I mean, Davian still exist. Oh, wait, no, that's your fault. The Federated Sun still exist. Merrick got wiped out. Laren Commonwealth got wiped out. Uh, Draconis got wiped out. This is, yeah, this is Clem Barak. They're at war with Davian. And then you have Yarn Folks that has like this huge portion. It's, uh, it's definitely a messy thing. We have like four yellow factions. We have Davian, Yarn Folk. And Barak, and there's also Haunts somewhere. They set up like their trading posts or whatever, so uh, it's a big mess. And and the worst is definitely Canopus and Diamond Sharks because I I can't really tell them apart easily. Like, like you try to tell these two apart. That's Canopus, that's Diamond Shark. <laughs> yeah, we... We basically took over... Uh, what do you call it? There. Not all of it, though. We probably took, like... How much they would take over? Uh, two... Maybe half of it? Like only half, like Laren Commonwealth is just huge, and then then Diamond Shark and Canopus kind of split up uh, Merrick between them. Then Worlds Unchanged or just someone meme them. Um, I mean not all of them exist anymore. So we have Star Adders, we have Ghost Bears. We have Nova Cat, Diamond Shark. We also have some Yarn Folks here. Uh, Snow Ravens. Yeah, I think that's. I mean, there's also Clan Wolf, but. It doesn't look like they just got kicked out. I know Clan Wolf exists, I just don't know if they have any. Holdings here in clan space. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, clan wolf kind of got kicked out. Random periphery holdings, but okay. <laughs> See, that's that's why online map is interesting. It's reasonably clan. It's it's basically who you know. Who is still the strongest? Uh, yeah, look at the time. Hm. 
Yeah, today we defeated the Laren Commonwealth, so it's meant to be a chill night. Yarn folks are clans too, I guess. Here, yeah, they they kind of got accepted as a clan. I can't remember what they're called. Clan something. I think I think they were named after fish. Clan something fish. I don't know it well enough, so. Yep. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, not much happening there. I mean, like, fighting yarn folks is definitely gonna be, like, in terms of the battles, it's gonna be easier than clans. Don't know. They left with the big man, so they get to be clan in spirit. And here's a fun meme. Start with as clan blood spirit. Those guys are nuts. So you're saying I'm nuts. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't know enough about the individual lures to... But... I mean, there there's gonna be societies, so if you want crazy clan fashion... Society is probably the way to go. Yeah, what I'm doing is just slowly fortifying this. Make it so difficult to take that they're just gonna give up. At least that's the plan. But yeah, looking at the time, I think I'm actually gonna end it here. I wish I could do this a bit longer, but yeah. The timing is a little awkward. Hey, thanks Libby for tagging along. Thanks Memory for lurking. I mean, if you want the society stuff, you want to fight them more, to, then support them. Yeah, I'm. I don't think I'm ready to do clan starts yet. Not good enough. Not close to enough. And and plus, the jump joint jump points needed to get to inner sphere is also another nightmare. So I'm not gonna do that anytime soon. I'm probably gonna do some near periphery stuff. Maybe a different part. I mean, after fighting against Steiner so much, I definitely want to fight different faction. My guess is that society is gonna be removed on day two on long. Not day two, but probably very quickly. There will be a lot of those that will actively attack them. They will flip, and then that's it for society. Everyone's gonna bum rush them for the MRM forty five society. Yes, probably. I wouldn't be surprised. But yeah, I'll be on the other other side of the map. It's gonna be uh pretty crazy as well. Let's see. I mean there's still one point five and then there's season two. Don't even know when season three is coming. But yeah. I hope you have a good rest of your day. I know it's morning. Hopefully things go well. Thanks for dropping by. I mean, you definitely have better things to do in the morning. So, <laughs> appreciate you for being here. And memory, if you could hear this, I hope you do well at work. Hope things go well. And hopefully you have enough caffeine to get through it. Thank you everyone else for watching. And I hope you have a